All right, IndyCar time. Single split IndyCar. Not something you get very often, but apparently everyone dislikes how the car feels. Um, plus it's a ride the wall type uh, track, so uh, too much grip up top or marbles that don't do anything up top. So it's gonna be high line dominant, very difficult to do anything, and very difficult to just not make a mistake. So dirty air is gonna be brutal as it always is in short track configuration. But, uh, we're going to do what I can. I feel like my qual time should be okay, based off of what was posted on a chart, and having very few people in here, so hopefully we can back it up, get a cloud at the right moment. Just get some laps in to get a feeling since practice might have had a little bit more grip. Although this feels really grippy, but this cloud has helped. So I nearly drive it into the wall. It's a 23 1. I don't believe that was in. Alright, we might be screwed. 22.3. Maybe I was looking at the wrong... Maybe I was only running 23s. Let's see. What's my best? Oh, my best is a 22.3. That's in the Q set, so... Let's get this set up. I'm gonna go 5-1 on the bars. I just don't even know if it does anything, but it makes me feel more comfortable. First time lap is a throwaway. Getting the tires heated up. The exit of four will matter, but just need to get the grip built up slowly. And not put it in the wall. Seven is terrible. Ticket flag, ticket flag. I don't think that's where I wanted to be. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to be. I don't know. If... Yeah, not if there was a 22 3 out there. Definitely not going to be pull, but hopefully we're far enough ahead. Let's uh, take a look at what's happening elsewhere. Wall hits. A little too low. It's like, what new cheese is this? Set the rear tires in the uh, grass and... Alright, so this will be the lap that should beat us. Oh, he's doing a cut down line. Got a big shove there, but we'll see if maybe that's where the speed is. That was the start, his timed lap. First lap throw away, but he's still doing cut down. this one going to be? Uh, 
top of the board for a second, but then the five also goes top of the board. Just a bunch of people sitting on track now, huh? So we are waiting on someone that's not in here and the 10 car. So we got to wait a minute 30 because now it's going to say activity. Please fix that eye racing. Um, yeah. Is one car still sitting on track? Clearly, this is how you win the race. Do your qualifying and then sit on track afterwards. Fourth, though, not, not bad. Could have been a lot worse because, yeah, seven four is not that far away from a uh, twenty two nine. So very lucky that we didn't have that go any worse. Mark is in the nine car. Let's see what paint scheme I put on him. He's in the DHL paint. And then Troy is not out on a lap, but he's going to be... I don't even know what the sponsor is, but he'll be the green and black 18. Nope. And that is why he did not get a lap in. So we got five seconds, starting fourth. That's on the outside, but we're going to be in dirty air. Just got to be patient with things. Uh, slide jobs are a thing. I Before someone mentioned it in Discord, I was already trying it because I figured the line might be a faster way to just run the track. But that didn't work out. But you can pass someone with it. So um, have to watch out for that. And then there's we're going to be under caution for a while, so once we clean out part of the field, then we'll get into that spread out flat indie car race. One lap to green. You're on the outside this time. Closed. Pit road is closed. 60 laps on fuel. The estimated strength of field is 1,922. Keep it clean. The DNF today would hurt our points a lot. So, survive the first 45, and then figure out what we gotta do. Five cars left to grid. But I might, if we get a big enough gap behind us, then I might kinda back things up and stay out of the dirty air and try to save the right front because I feel like right front's going to be where it goes away even though it is snappy loose at points but I think that's just because you get too much wheel into it Try to save a bit of fuel. Additional sets of tires during this race. Did not Have practice a, a pit stop, but I highly doubt that we go the first 60 laps green. But we also got to think about track position. You don't want to go in and fuel and lose a bunch of track position from people staying out. So, got to be smart about that. did burn 0 0.05 gallons sitting there on the grid. Alright, well we will throw it up to map one once we start to get to turn four. Hopefully it's not a late start. 
hopefully the leader goes early. Get us spread out quickly. About to go green, stay focused. Hopefully, I can survive. The pace car is in. Green, green, green. Oh, God. So much power, it was ready to spin the tires up on the start there. Oh, yeah. Cold tires, dirty air. The wall is dangerous. Could end up in it very quickly. They're battling hard up at the lead. I don't want to get too many people past us, so I'm going to keep an eye on Warren behind us and see. He looks quicker. Five, seven, six. Oh, I just lost the nose lighting up. No need to battle side by side. Take our time. Very surprised we were still green. That's actually kind of awesome. Caution, yep. Flag. They want <laughs> Shouldn't have said it, huh? Shouldn't right have now. said That's it. All right, fuel save mode. At our pace, we were able to do 65 laps, it was saying, so could even get this thing stretched out quite a ways. And we'll just run down low here as well. Just to take a bit more distance off of it. Catch that eight car. Let me be a little careful on the start. The road is now open. After feeling that uh kind of rear spin up but since the tires aren't worn and they will be warmer it might be better but just need to be careful with it so we got four laps in or five of us did now Oh no, Mark did not survive that first part of the race. So, uh, it looks like the car behind us, as well as the six and the four, both look quicker than us, and then it looks like there's a bit of a gap. So, if they make a move, I will just let off and let them go. Uh, the 6, I don't know if it was his ping and prediction code was having trouble, but on corner entry it looked like his car was doing a big slide. So, just want to be aware of that, that he could back the right rear into the wall if he does get ahead of us. One to go, next time by. 7.615. So, caution laps. Use about... a quarter of a lap of fuel. Just trying to 
put that in my brain is how many caution laps we need to be safe. Back to map one, first gear, and hopefully the pipe car we can is go to like ready. lap 20 before we get another yellow. Green, green, green. Sudden tight and loose at the same time. I think we'll just stay up top. That middle third lane did not feel good, but anytime you cross a little bit of a seam, it does not feel good either. Let's try to pull away from this guy a bit. He's scaring me. Shit, not a lot of grip up top. The guy behind might have just hit the wall, might have been prediction code. His car is just swaying all over the place, so I'm guessing it was prediction code. Shit. Cannot cross that seam. Uh, cannot hit that wall. This guy's gonna totally wreck us, isn't he? I'm backing out. These two are danger. Backing out. There's a big ass gap, and there's no need to be around those guys with their pings. Okay. Again, live till lap 45. Then we can worry about what we need to now they were sketchy and there's two seconds behind us yeah, we're gonna get cautions and it doesn't really matter and it looks like the leader has been wrecked. So... It's gonna change some stuff up. And I think... We're good to come in and top off. I'm gonna save a set of tires, so... I'm gonna just top off. Kind of worried about the 19 behind us, though, the way he keeps shooting up here, but... Everyone's being stupid here, because everyone's out of order. Okay. No tires, fuel only. Pit box in. Ten. Well, Five. no one came in, so Three, two, we'll look at the tires one. and see. Right here. I might change my mind. Ninety-five, ninety-seven. 
Okay, go. Uh, this was a bad call, wasn't it? I thought more people would be coming in. Line up, single file. Catch up, 16 car. At least we know the right front's just wearing to hell. But now we're in the very bad zone. Mark's back out on track, so he didn't get completely destroyed. I don't even know what to do now. Like. Catch that 16 car. I thought that was the call there to pit at that point. Now all we've done is lose track position. But if there's a yellow and they all pit in five laps, then it works out other than we didn't take tires, but I think this one's gonna be a caution every five to ten laps, so and I'm not feeling it in race. I don't know why. Uh, it's just driving completely different. So I'm going to have to go searching around for a different line anyways. Throw a negative three weight jacker in it. Hopefully that will keep me from spinning. One to go, next time by. We're going to be very far behind though, because everyone's going to be very slow to start back eight here. Point seven, eight, two. Midfield was comprised of 1k and lower people, so... I have no idea what the hell's going on up here, but now they're catching up. We should be good on fuel now, especially as slow as we're going to have to go back here. Get ready, going green. I mean, look at this fucking gap up there. What is this guy doing? Pace car is off. Green, green, green. Do I instantly spin down here? Nineteen car runs into us. We're going three wide up the middle. Nine hundred I rated driver. Nearly wrecked into us under caution. Gonna take it easy. Because he is gonna run into someone. Uh, 
the leader's only 10 seconds behind us. That's bad news. But I guess that's still half a lap behind. Shit, I cannot turn. I can't, I just, I can't do anything. I don't know if I'm trying to carry too much through the center or what. Maybe I need to bring the bars back down. They don't full throttle us. Oh, we're getting laps clicked off. started to run down lower, so I tried to go back up top. Oh, shit. What was that? Don't go there, I guess. Don't know what that was. We will go back to negative five now. Stop on track. <sighs> Something else happened somewhere else. Okay, well, now we come in and get tires, and we will be stuck in this position. So, all I did there was lose spots, sadly. Bad call, but thought it was the right one. I should have known better, but I thought they were all not pitting because they were all screwed up from let the one car pass or the leader or whatever, whoever had wrecked.
Oh well, we didn't waste a set of tires at least, so we're not like in a worse situation by taking our last set here. But we are... Eh, you know what? We're only three spots off of where I was. But we've had a few people wreck out since then, so... Take tires, splash of fuel. Five, three, two, one, right here. 8893, 9793 on the left. Okay, go. Be mindful, you only have one set of tires remaining. And we got a few spots there. Let's go ahead and just save just in case we burn more fuel, but I think we're good now. I put two more gallons in it. it says we should be good. Oh yeah, we should be good, because it hasn't updated the laps yet here. Now it will. We should be two gallons heavy. We are. Cool. Alright. Go back to map one. Don't have to worry about that now. I'm going to start off at negative five on the weight jacker. Even though we're wearing the right front more, I do not want another one of those slides. I thought we were a goner. And the 13 and the 11 are the only cars, I believe, that are ahead of us that weren't already ahead of us. And there are 12 cars on the lead lap. What? Was there a massive wreck? There are 13 cars on the lead lap. I guess it, there was only 19 cars that started. So, but that doesn't seem right still. Must have been some bigger wrecks that we did not see. One left to green. All right, eighth place. Back to survival mode. Eight point two one eight. Catch up. Thirteen car. Uh, the seven just pit. They must be damaged. So now we are in seventh. So yeah, if we can get around the 11 and the 13, I would be perfectly fine finishing sixth place. But I've got to not wreck. And I think that's going to be the hardest, hardest part of it all. Again, why is this guy five miles back? I don't understand this. Five miles back and sleeping. I'm not gonna put pressure on this guy. At least not into the corner, but if you slow through the center. Holy fuck, what is that? Okay, am I just gonna die if I try to make a pass on these two? I'm gonna figure out what the swerve left off the corner is for a bit. It looks like maybe that was just the 11 moving down there and then the 13 trying to follow his draft, but I just wanna be sure before I put myself on the inside. It's not like it's very easy to hold down by the yellow line on exit. able to get by him now. Point five nine one outside. Stay low. There's a car on the right 
Okay. Kind of wish it felt like that every single lap because I was stuck. Felt like an F1 car. Oh, we have a chance at fifth. Seven car, I forgot he had went in the pits. Okay, well. Now we just wait. And you know, the 11 might not be all that easy to catch. It's looking fairly quick. But I've also really backed it down. Trying not to do anything stupid. Eleven's gonna go up there and try to pass the six, it looks like. Slightly go over the edge and the rear just starts rotating. And now these guys are just flying up towards me. I'm missing a key element. Am I still in map 8? Nope, we're good there. I'm just slow. changes height next to the wall is starting to annoy me right around there sometimes it does it and sometimes I'm not at the right angle to see it we do now have three defenses though got a lot of grandstands to tear out of here though. Make the outside of the track look a lot better. Actually, make the inside of the track look a lot better as well. This thing is very old and dated. Uh, yeah, I think that was prediction code and someone didn't just launch into the sands in turn one. Nice forecast. Well, now we're in fifth place. We've done like 12 laps. Do not feel like it's time for tires. Someone is blinking all over the place up there, and I think that's the 19. Uh, leaders are pitting. S nope. S one of them did. Pit calls have been very difficult in this race. 
normally everyone's just doing the same thing over and over, but that has not been the case. We got caught out by no one pitting. That dude just got caught out by no one pitting. Now the 19 is going to be trying to race his way back onto the... No, onto... He is nine laps down. I'm sure he will be respectful as he blinks all over the place. Maybe he'll pit here. Uh, we got to start behind this dude that hangs back eight miles. We got the four car that was stopped on track, and he didn't pit, so I really have no idea what the hell's going on in this. Such a low strength of field. Catch up, 11, car. No one's doing what I'm used to them doing. But we got 32 laps left at the line, so 31 when we go green. Lap cars hold position, so we will be avoiding the 19. One left to green. Up until 10 to go. Then they get sent to the rear. One, 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 nine. But we're in fourth now. I think we're faster than everyone behind us, except for the four car. Just gotta hope that the tires don't react as badly as they did last time we did a restart on old tires. So that was, that was not fun. And if this guy leaves a lane, I'm going to go to his outside if it's green. I don't know why he decides to stay 100 miles back and not go when the leader goes. Don't get it. So annoying up there. And thankfully, we're this far away from him, but he's going to wreck second place. I mean, it's impossible. He can't even race around something like that. And now he's running into second place. He was wrecking. There's going to be a wreck. And there it is. Thankfully, we didn't get any damage. We did get a 0x somehow. And now a 4x. Okay. Three car got back up here quickly. Twelve cars on the lead lap now. A 
Well, I guess... Kinda seems stupid to come in now. But I think everyone else is going to. I don't know, do I just stay out? There's only like five people on the lead lab. We'll stay out. They're not pitting. No one else is pitting. But at least that guy is now gone. Hopefully. Nine laps down, racing second place like that. Even if he didn't know he was blinking, he was still racing second place like that nine laps down. Which is absolutely stupid. And so now we got this dude that wants to go really fast behind us and the dude in front of us that doesn't go. Catch up, 11, car. Try to give him a heads up so that we don't get ran into. But maybe the guy will do what he's supposed to do now. I'm not racing the three. He can go low or high or whatever. Just don't try to force it right on the start. Staying a little bit closer, kind of forcing him to. I don't know if I'm forcing him to, but... He's closer than he has been. About to go green, stay focused. Okay. Much better. And now we ride.
Don't know what that was. Hope he doesn't do it again. Getting what I need in the center of the corner. Eight X. Gonna call BS on that X as well. Found something though. Plus, it helped that he kept pulling down low on the straightaway, allowing me to kind of get a nose there. Yeah, I'm losing the nose now. if there's another caution I feel like there will be a yellow to end this thing I uh, can't have slides like that Just getting it shifted down to third seems to stabilize me because I'm slowing down enough to get it down there so I'm not overdriving things. I don't know if that's actually doing it, but low line there sucked though. And this is where I start, this is like the lap where I start going slower somehow. Alright, we gotta kick it up a notch otherwise this guy's gonna throw it to our inside. Ooh, don't like that over that seam. Got on the throttle a little harder. I need to be easy on my throttle inputs for once in this car. Can't just smash. So long gone. Oh, 
wanted to shift up. I said I wasn't going to do that. I do it. Surprised the 4 hasn't got around the 11. We gave him the playbook on how to... D he actually gave us the playbook on how to do it. Because we used what he was trying to do to us. But he hasn't been able to do it to the 11, so... Surprise. Ah, oh, fuck off. Well, this is going to be like a one-lap shootout. If that. Oh, and the 11 is gone. Five laps to go. Shout out to the number 20 running in uh, sixth place <laughs> at an 800 I rating. means there's nine cars on the lead lap, ten cars on the lead lap, but I'm not throwing tires on it for a one-lap shootout. If we even get that. What a weird one. It was fun to drive. Like, it was sketchy, but it was kind of fun. Setting up that pass was the most fun I've had in an Indy car in a while. But I'm also racing people that are well under my I rating, so maybe that's why I had fun, because I was able to pass the slower people because I'm supposed to be faster than them. So this gives the three car a chance. He's on fresher tires, but does it matter now? Do they just wreck each other? And are we getting two to green here? We are. One to green at 89 green flag on the last lap. So, a caution cannot come out and it'll be a one lap shootout. And Mark should get sent to the rear of the lead lap cars. Pretty sure it still does that inside 10 to go. But, yeah, just try to survive this one. I know if we wreck, we finish 10th, but i much rather finish 4th. One to go. Next time by. Two more. Let's go. Is he actually starting in? No. Seven okay. point two zero one past that nine. Please go. don't stop on track. Cause that just ends the race with the delayed green. He's not getting into position. He needs to He needs to slow down a lot more than that to get back to where he needs to be. guys are doing this low line start thing. I don't know what the four is doing hanging back a mile, but apparently that's the thing that you do. Mark is not going to get back to where he needs to be. I'm not giving up the outside. Get ready, going green. So I'm going to try to not screw this up looking at the white leader. Flag, white flag. The pace car is off. Be ready. Green flag, green flag. I screwed it up, but that's fine. Those starts are always difficult because the white flag comes out, but it's not the green flag. Hold our position.
And the race is over. P4 and 8X. <laughs> Not a normal thing that you get in an IndyCar race without dying, but... Yeah, no damage, so all good. That was a weird one. Very weird one. We got a whole lot of wrecks to go look at. So, we started fourth, we finished fourth. Was not that type of race, though. That car prediction kit, we're gonna see a lot of prediction code hit. This is probably the 19, no, this is the 19 wrecking himself. Here's Mark. Oh, he goes around crossing the different banking there. Knocks his front end, or front wing off. He just resets. Safer option. Cost him a bunch of time, though. I was just going to prediction code off the wall on exit every time. 19 isn't blinking yet. Oh, and the three wrecks the five. Let's go take a look at that. Yep, that is the three. I mean, there was some prediction code, but he went up half a car width to hit him. 17 goes around into the inside wall. Four car. Prediction code. Mark losing it again. just turns up and tries to wreck the 20. Might have ripped his front wing off. Drives into the wall. That guy. He just had no clue around him. 16. Loses it off the bottom. Oh, and the 8 somehow. Uh, that was the... Who was that? Corey, the 14. I don't even remember the 14. So that's that's a good sign, Corey. Um, all right, let's get back to it. Yeah, we were going to see what happened to the A car here. Oh, car sitting in the middle of the track, starts rolling, and wrecks him. Always fun. Double wave yellow is prepared to stop. Pretty much what you got to think when the yellow comes out on iRacing. He's a 13 behind us. He was really struggling with tightness off the corner. Four car down on the bottom. And he loses it, trying to get around the blinking 19. And the blinking 19's blinking. Troy wall hit there. 11 car and the 4 car. Might have been prediction code that sent him up into the wall. And that is it. One car wins. So. Um, yeah. Not a bad race. He's good. I might have said something, but I don't remember it. So let's take a look at the results. I gain a whole 8 I rating. We lose 12 safety rating. 8 incidents. 12 incidents for the 3. Um, yeah, that was a crazy one.
six cautions for 23 laps. So it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but IndyCar kind of helps itself with that by when normally when you wreck, you wreck and you're out. So just ask Mark about that. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.